Everybody, good evening. It's JP here from Noob Gaming. Um, starting a new build of Path of Exile actually today. I've played a Toxic Rain build previously, and I was thinking of maybe doing something elementalist, uh, something to do with elements, maybe fire, lightning. Not sure yet, but we'll go ahead on to this. Um, <laughs> yeah. So, I've chosen the Templar as my character, and we will be continuing onwards with it. It's okay. Cool. Let's see. Okay. Let's get going. Okay, let's skip the tutorials. I uh, will add in Glacial Hammer. Just move our flasks a little bit around, that will make life a little bit easier. So, in the comments down below, um, let me know, do you guys prefer actually to have the map overlaid or right in the top right corner which do you guys prefer i normally prefer to have the map in the middle of the screen that i can actually see where i'm going but that's all to person to person just let me know what you guys prefer and we will go according to that That was actually pretty close. <laughs> Drift with Scepter. Okay, so... Wow, right off the bat. Okay, that's actually going to help. A three-link Driftwood Scepter. That doesn't really happen a lot. So we'll add that one over there. Yeah, the only difference is this one is three socketed and that one is linked. I'd rather take the link and then uh, identify. So increased rarity of items found. It doesn't give me movement speed. I would really love to get a movement speed boots or something that gives me movement speed just to increase the momentum. Now due to the fact that I thought we're gonna go through elemental I can all go elemental damage up top here, or I can go life, mana and life. I'm thinking of maybe first going into mana and life to get the survivability, because I know it is sometimes a bit difficult to survive in Path of Exile. <laughs> I've learned it the hard way, and it's not fun <laughs> if you don't survive. Let's quickly sell the items that we don't need, like we will sell all of that, except we'll still have, okay, so I'm still contemplating on which skill I want to go through with. Am I going to go lightning? Am I going to go uh, fire, cold? 
So, I've got Glacial Hammer right over here, which is technically speaking a cult, but that's melee. I don't think I want to go melee based. Um, I've got Rolling Magma, a Frost Bolt, Smite, Molten Strike, and Purifying Flame. A wave of the divine fire deals damage in a line that creates a consecrated ground and deals damage in an area around the target location. A large shockwave then expands outwards, damaging enemies standing on the consecrated ground. I haven't actually tried this before, but this is fire spell area of damage duration and physical so that is the tags that we need to go with if we're going to use purifying flame the other bullet the other thing that we can go is frostbolt is fires a slow moving projectile that pierces through enemies and dealing cold damage um i wonder i'm not all into channeling I've tried earlier, I've tried actually a melee channeling skill, and that was pretty difficult um, for the fact that you stand still in attack, that you can't really move around. So let's maybe go with Purifying Flame. Let's see how it goes. We can always change at a later of stadium we can change and see if we can maybe use something differently but for now let's go with purifying flame we will have we will add in glacial hammer on our mouse key and just for safekeeping now i am Technically speaking, using scepters, it does. They do give extra elemental damage, and as purifying flame, technically speaking, is fire based, fire and physical. So we'll have to spec both at the end of the day if we're going to use. Okay, so that's actually very strange. Okay. Interesting. So it causes the ground to give damage over where they walk. That is a very strange skill. Let's see if they walk over. It doesn't really do damage, so it's the shock wave that really does the damage. Jump back 80%. It doesn't do a lot of damage against these things. Move a little bit away. Oh, and I was frozen solid. 
Okay, so that doesn't help. Okay, so it's very slow based. And I died. Okay. So let's see if we can get maybe a different skill. Purifying flame, I don't think that's going to work. Um, let's see if I can... Something small. Yeah, let's sell that. Shift, click. Oh. Inventory, shift. Yeah. So, not purchase, sell. Only one. I only need one. Okay, so let's go with rolling magma. We change purifying flame out for rolling magma. And wait, what was the other skill that I saw there? Blight. No, I'm not gonna go blight now. Nah. Never blight. Uh uh. Sell that. Farewell. Stash back in. And let's go. Yeah, that does a lot more damage. Okay, so we're definitely gonna go with rolling magma for now. It does a lot more damage at the end of the day. And I want proper clearing speed. Mana and life. Okay, so... Oh, yes. Let's see what it gave us. Cold damage. I'm not really doing cold, but that's fine. Come on, get out of the way. Should make that just a movement skill. <laughs> oh, and there I get some of our yeah, rare. Oh. Okay, interesting. Let's use that there, this ear. That's also three socketed, which actually is going to help. And that's two sockets, so I'm going to take that out. 
Glacial Hammer. And this is a three socket scepter. Increased fire damage. This is actually gonna help me a little bit more. Yeah, so. Uh, requires level five. Great stuff. Okay. So at least we know what we can use at level five. I'm uh, actually doing this because it actually gives uh, this medicine, this quest that we do on Tidal Island, actually gives you support gems. That's why I'm actually doing it. I'm hoping and praying I can get volley. Then it will actually give me two additional projectiles. But I'm not entirely too sure if they're going to give that to me. No. <laughs> I'm not that lucky. Ancestral call support and... Well, Ancestral Call Support will help with Molten Strike, but I'm not doing Molten Strike. Infuse Channeling Support, Spell Cascade, Chance to Bleed, Ruthless, and Arcane Search. We'll go for Arcane Search because apparently that's the only skill that will work. Uh, let's read. So, yeah, that's not really going to help. If I used Molten Strike, maybe, then that would have worked. But that is fine. Um. God hasn't abandoned us. So, you have. Got a job for you. Farewell. Let's sell. Yes. No, we're going to keep that. We can sell glacial ammo. I'm not going to use it. Take care. Maybe I'll get it a little bit later. Apparently, there is a very rare item that you can collect in the mud, in the mud flats. Apparently, if you, and it, it's a very, very rare drop. Apparently, I have never had one of these drops before. Um, I've read about it. I don't know how true it is, but if it is anything true and if there's any truth behind it apparently if you kill an albino no it's an albino what they call it i believe albino roa it's these creatures that's lying here but it's a pure white um albino raya roa roa you can get a feather and if you have 10 of those feathers apparently you can trade it in for a for a um a fishing rod i'm not sure if it's true or not i've only read about it and seen about it on youtube where people are talking about it but i can't say if it's true because i've never seen it actually drop but i have seen people selling fishing rods on the um, website, on the Path of Exile trade site, where they actually sell fishing rods for like 80 to, uh, 80 to 100 chaos orbs, which is crazy expensive. It's 
so there has to be some sort of truth behind it. Okay, I need one more shell. the fitted pool. Right. Let's just quickly grab some mana and life again. Oh, medium life flask. That'll help. Glad these zombies came out of. Now I'm level five. I should should actually be able to equip this swap that around with rolling magma back in 32 4 to 6 11 to 17 no elemental damage wait a minute Okay, so the other one is technically speaking better. And that's 32. If I put that in, it's still 32, but this gives me a total of 16 mana upfront cost and effects of a supporter skill. Increased cost speed. Cost speed is going to help. I can still level that. Okay. Let's just make sure I get everything at the bottom. Because technically speaking, we need to clear out everything in this area. I need to add my Quicksilver Flask, that's going to help. There had to be a unique physical resistance. Try to get rid of this one. No, <laughs> I can't die. Finally, I got that one out of the way. That's like the main 
thing that gives me a lot of that kills me the quickest. Yeah. Okay, so wipe out the remaining. Okay, I just have to wipe out the remaining ones. Let's just make sure that all the zombies that the necromancer raised is killed. Zombies! Okay, and we have cleared out all the monsters. Okay, I don't have to fight everything. Okay, let's go get all our rewards. Okay, so Flame Wall, Vigilant Strike, Ancestral Protector, Holy Flame Totem. So, deals 3 to 6 physical damage, projectile pierce targets. Um, yeah, Summon Holy Relic, a Frost Bomb, Flame Wall, Vigilant Strike. I think maybe I should go like a Frost Bomb or Flame Wall. Flame Wall will give me additional damage. But Frost Bomb will freeze everything in place. Um, interesting. Let's go with Frost Bomb, then we'll just freeze everything up. Okay, and we'll go with Frost Blink. Because I'm definitely not gonna go Steel Skin. Uh uh, go oh, Steel Skin. I've traveled inland on the Emperor's Road via Prisoner's Gate. Had to skirt around Axiom Prison. Okay, so we'll add Frost Blink right over there. Sell, sell, sell. Oh, I don't have to sell that. I can actually keep that. Yeah. For now, we'll keep it. Maybe we can use it a little bit later down the line. 
not sure yet what can we purchase here war banner yep yeah, so frost bomb will go over there frost blink will go over there we can clear that out and let's get going Oh, my neck. I'll freeze you in place with your... Oh, you need time to gather your mana. There we go. Freeze! There we got a chain belt. Okay, so up top. At least it slows them down a little bit. Not a lot, but at least a little bit, you know? Almost forgot. Hey, <laughs> Frost Blink! Move away! Come on! Okay. Increased cost speed, lightning damage, increased fire damage. Yo. Lot of damage. I can die. I don't want to die. I don't want to die. Oh. 
These lightning things. Yeah! <laughs> gotcha! I don't have to kill that one now. Because I got what I came for. Oh, wrong way! <laughs> Sorry about that. Frost blink helps a lot. Gotta love it. Okay. Oh, I wanted to see what I got from this one. Uh, increase spell damage. 10% increase in increase maximum energy shield. Okay, that helps. In a way. And a medium mana flask. Finally! Oh, I don't have any. A ledge. Ooh, saved by leveling. Okay, let's see. Maybe, hopefully, this one will give me... F let's just kill those things before I get too much. Come on, come on. Ooh, 81. Yep. And also increase spell damage. Maximum energy shield. So that is quite interesting. Both of them is giving me exactly the same ability. Mana reduced cost. Increase maximum mana. Reduced mana cost of skill. That's actually going to help. Great stuff. Okay, let's get going. I want to get to the end of Act 1 as soon as possible.
Okay, wrong way. <laughs> These crucibles actually really die as do take a lot of time to actually complete. And here's our waypoint. Still need to do the submerged passageway a little bit later. I don't have to do it immediately, but I'll still go and do it a little bit later. We'll just run past everything. And chuck one frost bomb there. <laughs> and the nice thing is, because we have already cleared the labyrinths, or we've done already the trials, I don't have to do the Lord's Labyrinth anymore. This is great. Love it. Okay. Let's go get our rewards. Okay, so... I've got a red socket. Really added fire damage support. That's gonna help. Yep. Definitely. Let's stash that. Okay. There's a fine. And now it's 49 damage per second. Okay, I'm thinking of quickly going to go do this up, uh, the extra area in this location. And it was actually so close. The f the flooded depths, that's what they call it. Hey, Lee, I can do this, you saw, huh? Okay, let's go quickly kill the Dweller of the Deep. Oh, wrong way. That I can remove actually. Please give me movement speed. Let's see. Evasion, increased rarity of items found. But I lose a blue. I actually need frost blink. I need frost bomb as well. That kind of sucks. Yep, yeah, and going to happen. Oh yeah. 
let's do something that will help us a lot. Uh, game. We'll go to semi strict And we will close that. Did it take a... Did it take effect? Options. Yeah, I did. You managed to... Yep, yeah, I'm gonna sell that. Let's see. Blue, blue, blue. Stay sharp out there. Okay, this gives me a hundred and three. Yeah, we can destroy that. That's 70. Increase maximum mana, 6 reduced mana cost of skills. But I want this elemental damage, divine fervor. Okay. So, I don't really need that at this moment. So, we'll go with life. And then we're gonna go to the prison and we're gonna quickly go clear the prison. Hey, I've got six followers! Great stuff! Okay, so welcome, Mikaya Shin, if I pronounced that correctly. Sorry if I'm butchering the name. I really do ap uh, apologize for that. But welcome. Thank you for following. Much appreciated, Mikaya Shin. I think I may have found the labyrinth, but I don't have to go do that. So I don't need that at the moment. And apparently you can frost blink right f past a... Ah, no, that didn't work. Okay. I think we can go upwards, well, down through this little passage right over here. Then we should be, or not. Is it back up upwards? Yeah, there it is. Okay, I see, I see the path, I see the path. But I have to go down again. And then, way, way down. Then back up here. There we go. The warden's quarters. I don't actually know if I'm gonna fare against this. Your answer's here, heretic, in Rayclast. But I don't think you'll like it very much. Well. 
I don't know why I never actually played this as much as I did now. Because this is actually really a fun game. And it's free to play, which is the best of all. Now, well, you can do in-game purchases like buying cosmetics and stuff, which will then, at the end of the day, give you, like, the wings and the boots. But that was all prizes. I didn't even pay for those cosmetics, which is a great thing. Yeah, man. Ooh, I'm running out of mana. This is my last. Okay. I need to survive. No! Almost died! Don't have a lot of mana left. Or health left. Yeah, that's fine. No! <laughs> so close! I must have time to gather my will. That was so close. But yeah, those wings at this moment just... Ah! But yeah, you can get cosmetics also through rewards. There is sometimes they do challenges and stuff like that where you can actually... I will... So yeah, as I was actually trying to say is, sometimes when the new league start, they will actually go ahead and give a free cosmetic away. That's how I got the wings. And there's some sort of challenge that you can complete in, in between the acts, where if you complete a certain amount of challenges that you can actually get some cosmetics. But nothing is paid to win in this game, which makes it amazing. I love it. You don't really get a lot of free-to-play games, which you don't have to pay to win. And Path of Exile is one of those games. 
you don't pay to win. It's physically skill based. And if you don't actually know what to do, there's build guides where people will actually show you how to do it. Um, or guide you through on how to complete the campaign. So yeah, this is actually, I really, really, really do like this game. And I don't know why I never started playing this earlier. Now this is my second playthrough now. Uh, let's go with... I'm gonna go with Flame Dash or... I think I'm gonna go with Flame Dash. We're gonna replace... Frost Blink with... Can we? No, that we're gonna need level 10. But that's fine. Stay sharp out there. Um, can we buy Clarity? Feral Legion support. Combustion support. I think that's going to help a lot more. We'll use Combustion support. We'll remove Arcane and we will add Combustion. Which will give us a little bit more damage. And then I want clarity as an aura because it helps with mana regeneration. And there is also one that's called vitality, which helps with life regen. So I was thinking of doing those three right over here. I think that's going to help. I don't have to sell anything. But like I said, yeah, this is my second playthrough. My first playthrough was with Toxic Rain. I did a little bit of maps, but I really want to try something else than Toxic Rain. I started dying a lot in that, so I really want to see how a mage works. Mages are normally quite interesting to play with, so... Yeah, we'll see how the mage goes. The only problem is... In the beginning of the game, you really do take a lot of damage. Die. Over front. Here we go. Woo! <laughs> Close. I don't want to die. <laughs> okay, so let's quickly get fair graves. Oh, the map's a little bit twist, uh, turned around. And I see fair graves. Frankly, I'm stuck. May fair winds favor you. Ooh. 
Ooh, saved. There are really a lot of monsters. These rowers are not fun to play uh, fight against. Because they stun the living daylights out of a person. Which is extremely irritating. Okay. So Holy Dominion, 12% to all elemental resistances, 24 increased elemental damage, and 10% chance to freeze, shock, or ignite. 30% increased attack damage, melee critical strike, and no, I'm not doing that. Increased spell damage. Critical strike, increase light radius, and 10 strength and intelligence. So maybe I go for these two. So we'll go elemental damage, then we'll go light of divinity. I will first go this holy dominion because it will actually give us resistances, and then we will go with the spell damage. Okay, so let's go search for that little path that we need. Or Fairgraves' quest. Let's see if we can quickly go complete that. I think things will make it a little bit easier if I can get volley. But I don't think I'm going to be able to get volley... Wow. Never thought I would actually get that. That's actually going to help. Okay, so we'll replace. No, Frost Bomb stays. Frost Blink is removed. We'll add in Flame Dash. Then we will add in. Vitality. I can't add in clarity at the moment because I don't have a spare blue socket at the moment. Which is his frost bomb. So maybe I should swap out frost bomb and flame dash. For now. Because then I can add in a red over there this gives me 35% to all resistances and attack leashed as life that's going to help so let's add that in there we'll remove that put that there that's a medium flask this is a large flask and something like that more or less okay so Q. Light in flame dash right over there. Remove that. And now we've got life regen. Yeah, and everything is full. Great. Okay, where is it? Yep, 
Yeah, flame dash does actually cover a lot bigger area. Here we are. Ship graveyard. Regenerates mana per second five. Max more sixty strength gain no inherit bonuses from strength. This year increase attack speed and twenty percent less global damage. It's not going no no no. Let's skip the crucible for now. Ah, uh, let's quickly grab the elemental resistance. This is going to help us a lot, actually. Now, strangely enough, at this very moment, I'm not really following a uh, following a build guide or anything like that, which is most probably going to bite me in the butt a little bit later in the game, especially when I get to the second act, or not the second act, like here by Act Six, it's most probably going to bite me in the butt, but. I want to see how far I can get by what I've learned so far in the first um, first playthrough. Oh yeah, I remember I swapped out my... I don't think I have gloves yet. I don't have gloves yet. How do I... How do I not have gloves yet? Wow. Dead for 5,300. Way the go, dude. Seriously. Okay. Let's just quickly portal out of here. You must take your chance. <laughs> Blazing Salvo, Ice Nova, Storm Brand, Storm Burst, Withering Brand, Absolution, Searing Bones, Scorching Ray. Scorching Ray is that. Yeah. I think I'm going to go for Blazing Salvo. Why do I hear a cat? It's fine if it's required level 12. That's fine. Um, I'm not going to use Frost Blink, Arcane Search, or Clarity. I'm 
definitely going to use. Okay. Yeah. Additional point. What's this? Area of effect. Blazing Solvo. AOE area of effect. So that's actually going to help. I just want to see if I can get a blues. I don't have a helmet as well. How? Mahi? <laughs> Again, Mahi? Okay, let's grab a leather cap for now. Because then we can add in clarity. And I don't need that at the moment. Let's see if I can... Hello. Maybe... Get a... Bigger, greater... Life flask. Alright, three. I don't have the scrolls at the moment, so that's fine. Okay, let's complete Act 1. Act 1 is almost done. Almost done with it. Basically in the end stage of Act 1. Murvale. That, technically speaking, will be our... Act 1 boss. Oh, that's summon titans. I'm not going to go. Okay, so I'm thinking of going increased area of effect. What's this? Retribution, increased damage, minions, deal. No, I'm not doing minions. So we'll do the area of increase. We'll do the amplification. That'll be our next one. Close. I really do get a lot of close calls in this one. <laughs> but I survive. Which is the best part of all. That's actually quite interesting. Increase evasion rating adds fire damage and lightning resistance. I actually need a little bit more cold resistance. 12, 12, 46. My lightning resistance is top notch. Great stuff. I love it. Okay, so Blazing Salvo, we're going to remove it for Rolling Magma. My damage is now 30, and if I have Rolling Magma on, it's 108. The only difference is that... <laughs> More projectiles! Which means faster clearing rates.
Yeah, and it gives us increased area damage as well. Why am I scum? I'm completely stuck. That was horrible. Okay, why was I stuck? That was interesting. Wow, a lot of damage. Okay, I've died twice so far in this boss. Okay, so this is really not one of the best boss skills. Okay, strangely enough, it's not a great boss killer at the moment. <laughs> and we are officially in Act 2. Ah, here we go.
I've seen many close. Fare you well. I am going. I can need that. Travel far. What? I can sell that. Ah, I'm not gonna sell it. I'm not getting what I need. Okay, let's get the stash. Rolling magma, we can go and add in here. Okay, I wonder, this is maybe going to help, I'm not sure yet. Okay, let's go. Yeah. Um fire or oh, elemental element Let's see. It's elemental all the way over here. Diamond skin, robust. Where's fire? It's fire over here. And over there, Divine Fury, which is right over there against five physical. And fire damage. So, um, Avatar of Fire, 50% physical cold and lightning damage converted to fire damage. Deal no fire damage. No, definitely not that. Um, okay, 10% of physical damage as extra fire damage. So the actual question Explosive impact. Let's quickly take a look at what the spell O A O E M projectile. Fire projectiles which fly in an arc dealing area damage on impact with either enemies or ground near the way the target Targeting further away caused the projectile to spread out and land a wider area. So AOE will help, definitely, but Divine Fury, that gives me extra fire damage, physical fire damage, Divine Judgment. Is this elemental? Ele yeah, this is definitely elemental, so maybe from here... What's this? Increase armor elemental resistances. It'll give me elemental resistances, which is actually quite great. Um, this is life. So... We can go this way. Okay. Grab elemental day, then we go over here. From here onwards, we can go or down through here, or we can go here for the resistances. So I was thinking we're gonna go up. We're gonna grab the eight percent resistance over there, go down, and then move to get our divine fury, which is over here, which just gives us extra fire damage, and divine judgment, which will also give us extra elemental damage. Okay. Okay, 
What war? Ooh. What level am I? Level fourteen. And this thing had to have trial of cold. Come on, Arnor, help me kill this thing. Come on, we're almost there, almost. And we have slain it. Foil tunic. That'll maybe help. Scroll of Wisdom. I've got three points. Interesting. Okay, so intelligence. We'll grab that and we will grab. There we go. There we go. Faith and Steel. Okay. And then I've got one of you, so. I can go green, green, blue, or I can go red, green, blue. And this is technically a three link, which will help. So let's. Oh, this is energy shield and evasion rating. This just gives us evasion rating. So I'm thinking we're going to go with the energy shield one. And it gives me cold and lightning resistance and life regen. Why can't I use it? I don't have enough dexterity. I think this is a great wand anyway. If I remember correctly. Either or, I'll sell that a little bit later. And I can actually go and use this on you. Swap that out. Put that in. Chuck that out, don't need it. More space. W. Remove you. And let's go. Oh, all of Augmentation.
think if I if I have better um Yeah, see, the more I upgrade clarity, the more it takes. So, thinking maybe I'm not going to upgrade clarity anymore. I can leave clarity as where it is. Wrong way. Or above chance. Oh, it's this little thingy down here at the bottom. There we go. Oh, and a topaz ring and greater life flask. Three sixty, one fifty. We'll swap that out. Okay. Wow. Energy shield or a cold chill and freeze resistance. Let's just put the game sound a little bit softer. Save. And I don't have that. And then. Yeah, that's a little bit better. Ooh. An extra life, oh great. Uh, this thing is fire and ignite resistant. That's wonderful. And I do fire damage. That's just wonderful. I don't do fire. That's fine. You die. Portal skill, iron ring. I've got two iron rings. Yeah, I've got two of these. Uh, 
right there, right there, apply. Deficit chance, 150 missing energy shield, recovery 5 shield, increase armor, increase reduction armor, 100% increased. 10% physical damage from hits taken as no. <laughs> like a no. Chaos Icon. Okay, so there is the. I was way off. Chulazorb, how did I miss that? Inquisitor. If you attempt to transmogrify a virtual gem without its proper mental preparation, you will be a puppet master working strings made of vipers. Remember, these gems are fandas in crystalline form, alive. With volition unspeakable. Master conscious dreaming as I instructed you. Your death would mean little to me, Mother Dusty. It's what your demise could unleash that concerns me. Malachi. Hey, let's see if my friend's going to will join. <laughs> let's see. It is like level 92. Level, yeah, level 92. Jeez. It was probably doing maps now at the moment. Trying to farm. I know he also wants to actually go ahead and Create a new character. But I'm not sure what character he wants to go as. He's been playing Exploding Arrows. Which also actually sounds like a very interesting build. Ah, dead end. <laughs> I can die. Piety was after it. Let's see. Oh, he's in his hideout. Okay. Mm, portal. Portal me away.
Herald of Purity, Brand Recall, Herald of Thunder, Herald of Ash. Grant a buff of fire damage. Poison Mili, Sel Morbachan. Okay, so sell that. Mm, I'll sell that as well. I'll sell that as well. Mm, let's see. No, that's not going to give me anything. Yep. Let's see that. Inventory. I uh, want you there. Fire resistance ass. <laughs> and you're there. Frost Bomb, Vitality, and Flame Dash. Well, Clarity is right over there, so let's take Flame Dash with that there, Clarity over there, and sell that and that. Just not getting any movement speed. Harold of Ash, I can add in there. Okay, and then I need to get those. Well, I'm technically only that one over there. Okay, time to go kill some bandits. Court Scepter. What is my resistance? 75, 20, and 43. Wow, my lightning resistance is amazing. Why is the crying all over that place? Oh, uh, something which I haven't actually activated yet. 
Uh, Herald of Agony. Dum dum dum. There we go. Right, uh, it's normally to the right, isn't it? Normally just have to follow the path and normally you get to it, more or less. Wrong way. Okay, time to kick some butt. Now what I don't like. I... Kill. Okay, that's one down. Porto. Ah, I can always see if there's other... Oh. Ah, that's a two second... Increase fire damage, attack with second. Let's sell it and let's sell this as well and then Okay, let's see if I can maybe buy Three links. That's quite a bit of a problem. Well, that's not a three link. Increase fire damage, elemental damage. Well, that's a three link. This is a two link, two link, two link. Three link really does help a lot. Maybe, maybe, if I can get gloves or a helmet, that's a three link. Um, energy shield. Where's the gloves? Armor and evasion, armor and energy shield. Requires level 21. Armor and energy shield. Scrap this, I've got an idea. Grab that, put that there, and then let's look at this. Grab this, jump that in there. I just don't have any resistances. 
That's the only problem. And I don't think I'm going to waste chromatics on something that doesn't give me... Ah, uh, well, let's use it either or. Blue, blue, red. That's double red. I'm going to do it one more time. That's fine. Swap that out. I lose lightning resistance. But I get life regeneration. Which, technically speaking, is a little bit better, in my opinion. Now, I can go ahead and... Nope. Purchase. Fourteen. Fourteen. Jump back that one, and we will go for this one. Okay, and then we will sell this. And... Grab that. Clear that out. Okay. Quiver, one-handed. Increase spell damage. Two-handed, bows, other weapons, gold damage. Gold damage. Lightning damage. Lightning. Weapon damage penetration. 5% fire resistance. That's not too bad. Okay, so let's put that down there. Gold resistance, physical damage leached is life. Physical damage. Yeah, so let's use that. This one and this one. So then it gives me oh lightning damage. I don't really use lightning damage, but that's fine. Level 33. Right, let's swap that around. Wow. 3-8. 42, that's bad. Maybe I can jump back this on there. Ah, uh, but it's also because I've got that... Something. 3 8. 3 8, yeah. We'll leave it at that for now. Okay. Purchase. Gabalonish fuels, corrupting fuel. I'm not going corrupting fuel, so. Phew. Okay, I don't need that, I don't need that. I'll go down over here. What's my defense? Cold resistances are still bad.
total damage. <laughs> Cut that. And go down this way. Okay, the wetlands. And here's oak. Looks like we need to go a little bit more to the top. Or not. I was on my way to the right way, right path. Ah, oh, come on. Okay, let's see. Attack speed, chance to shock, damage, fire resistance. I really want to use this. But let's jam pack this one quickly. Moderate. Oof. Oh, come on, really? Jeez. Greater mana flask. Sixty. Wow. That gives me a lot of damage. Big increase. Need to kill that thing. Don't know how, but I corner. Hey. Okay, I've got one down. These things do chaos damage, which is kind of frustrating if you ask me. Uh, clarity and vitality. I need a lot more. Come on. This thing is fire and ignite resistances. Oh, come on.
Unless it's frustrating when it's something that's fire resistance. Almost there, almost there, almost. Come on, come on. We can do it. Finally. That was frustrating. And gives me chaos damage. <laughs> oh. There you are. I think I need to find the Weaver's Chambers as well in here. Uh, yeah. Oh, not the Weaver's Chambers. The Root. Okay, so, Wetlands. Oh, come on, where are you? Western Forest, it is the place where I need to go to, so... Scroll of Wisdoms. Not, not gonna be able to use it, so. Okay, so one more bandit and. Then I can complete that quest line and as well as. The last bandit. I think I found the Weaver's Chambers. Oh, we'll complete the Weaver's Chambers first.
Okay. Um, I need that, so increase fire damage and increase physical damage. I want that little one there, and this. Uh, didn't increase it, why? to see this one. Due to the fact that it's level 33. Oh, lethal! Hey! I think this is gonna give me something to do with lightning, maybe. There was just a way to find out exactly what these things gives a person, but Ooh, that thing, that little one, this one, hey, I well, it's spell resistance, but it's not fire resistance. There we go, it's a little bit faster than the previous one. Get it. Plus two level socket. Great. Increase attack speed. Great. I needed that. So I'll go for the. I don't do attack speed, but increase evasion rating and accuracy rating. So I'll go this way around. So I don't really do. It's not really an attack, it's more of a spell, so it should be spell cost speed. The Weaver's Chambers. Elemental damage with attack support. Faster costing. Yeah, 
that's gonna help. Control destruction support. Elemental focus support. So. Okay. Ooh. Don't want to throw over the water. Oh. If I had three blues, that would have been wonderful. Melee damage. Cruelty support. It does help for blazing silver. Shockwave support doesn't help. This doesn't help as well. So I can add in. That's combustion support. So maybe I need to take combustion out and I put in faster casting. 57. Let's see what happens if I take out combustion. Goes up. Okay. And added fire damage. Um, buy, purchase, uh, yep, that over there, trinity support, support skills that hits elemental, um, highest damage type is elemental cause to gain, that doesn't help, rage support, shockwave support doesn't help, elemental focus, I've added in that, so I need red, 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 red. That's not gonna help, that's not gonna help. Strength damage bonus applies to all spell damage as well as supported skills. Dude, what's this? Physical lighting, no. Nope. Nope. Where was it? Cruelty. Somebody, that's gonna help. Call to fire. Vitality. That's actually quite interesting. Wait. Call to fire. I wanna check something out. Um. Where is it? Doom span, block recovery, maximum life, 15 increase, stamina. I wonder. Let's check something. I don't really want to check something out now. Frost bomb, combustion. Haha. <laughs> Oh, I want to check this out. So that accept inventory. Okay, now I want to check this out. I thought it does fire damage now. is a lot better. <laughs> okay, I need to go to the very end. There we go. This, oh, there you are. Add that in. 
Now I need to find the lost bandit. Where are you? There you are. Okay, portal. Okay, grab my rewards here. Yeah. Grab this. Okay. No. Mm, nothing I can sell here. I need to remember to go to Act One. Lion's Eyes Watch. Thank you. Just Okay, so Okay, so elemental damage, chance of ignite, increase effect of non damaging. We'll go for that shot. Oh, I've got another one. Hey, I forgot about that. There we go. 74. Okay, what do I still need? Okay, the roots. <laughs> Fairly close. Those things. Oh, lot of damage. Welcome in. Hey, Foster Casting.
I think it's down this way somewhere. Gotcha. Sixty percent reduced reflected elemental damage. Hits have thirty-five percent chance to threat. Thirty percent chance for hits to deal three hundred percent physical damage of extra random elemental exposure. Exposure you inflict applies at least eighteen percent. Minus 18. Ah, uh, it's not to me or to them. Right, whichever. 98. Doesn't seem like a lot, but... We'll go like this. Okay. I know I'm running basically through everything here because it's really not needed to fight everything. Unbound ailment support. Don't know this. I actually don't know this. What is this? Supporter skills have 35% duration of 
ailments on enemies. Supported skills have a 35% increase effect of non-damaging ailments. Supported skills do. Ay, ay, ay. Don't know if that's going to be good or not. Game. Oh, that's the ticket dread. Also, don't need that. Basically, just get a hideout in the ticket red, and I've already got that hideout, so I don't need it. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah. does a hell lot of damage. <sighs> I shouldn't have went for lethal. Don't have any more. If I die, I die. Seriously? Remember not to do lethal. Dang it. Hallelujah. I actually don't know which way to go now. things with the blood bleed damage does a lot of damage okay at least I'm done with that now so great stuff I need to see where to go next. Let's search for fire. Mm. 
I guess I fired it. Fire there, I've got fire all the way down here, so maybe let's work our way through to there. Okay, yeah, I've got here. Let's grab this. Ooh, 24 fire resistance. That can help. Explosive impact. I'm thinking of going for that first. Grab the life here. Yeah? One, two, three. Down there, down there. Up here. Okay. Yeah. Let's do that. Pyramid's Apex. I think this is basically the end of Act 2. I need to remember to bypass that thing. <laughs> Slam damage. I'm not gonna fall for that. Not again. Ha ha ha. You die. Increased cost speed, increased attack speed, I don't really need the attack speed, but it gives me fire damage to my spells. This will help. So currently 132. Let's swap that out. Let's see. 202. 195. Yep. I'm definitely swapping that out. 202. Bam! I really want to add this in as well. And there's a 3 link. Well, it does help with Flame Dash. So let's add that in there. And where's Flame Dash? Herald of Agony. Oh, Flame Dash is a blue skill. 
Okay. Bam. Yeah. Oh. Who lives on a pineapple under the sea? Like a love. This one. I want to see. I want to see. Now we're gonna go full throttle. Yep. We're gonna go into the 87%. I really wanna get this. Oh, damage is amazing. Why all the bloody blood bloods? Thank you. As long as a person doesn't go into... I didn't get it. I did get it. And it gives me physical damage. <sighs> Increase accuracy. Increase effect of chill on you. Hey, no, that's not really going to help, eh? Start of Act 3. Uh, sell, sell. Don't need those. I was actually thinking of something to do with this. But anyway, guys, this is definitely where we're going to call it quits for tonight. Unfortunately, we have load shedding within the next 13 minutes. Which means ESCOM, our wonderful power provider, the only power provider in South Africa, is going to kill our power for at least two hours. So we will be streaming again tomorrow. But for now, thanks for watching everybody. Please remember to like, share, and well, like, comment, and subscribe if you want to. Sh please share this as well. It really does mean a lot, guys. It really does mean a lot to show your support and remember stay frosty